Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneemers right here and I hope you guys had a fantastic day once again today. Okay, so welcome back again for another episode of course of our MK Don's FIFA 21 uh, journey. Um, yeah, it's not been great last couple of videos. I've got to be honest. I have to be really honest and just come off the bat just like that and just, just you know, obviously just say how awful it has been. It has been really awful. Um, we have to improve big time, of course. In the last video, um, our last game anyways, especially, we drew 2-2 with Oxford um, in the FA Cup, which just wasn't good and wasn't acceptable at all. But I guess just to, obviously, just to say on that result, it was just, you know, just not right, you know, I, I don't know, I just obviously wasn't feeling it and just came up with a rubbish result. It just hasn't been great, we've been leaking goals stupidly. Uh, Man City and Tottenham, of course, was understandable. Yeah, it's not going to be easy coming up against uh, those sort of teams. And it, you know, the Premier League, I'm going to keep saying that, you know, so it's going to be hard. Still need to improve the squad, of course, but we need to do what we can with what we have. Um, a 3 1 win over Burnley wasn't too bad, though. Uh, and then we obviously lost to Leicester, which could have won, yeah, could have drew, yeah, but hey, we just couldn't do anything else with. So, just need improvements. Um, and obviously, this month is not going to be really great to start with. <laughs> um, we do have Everton, of course. In the Carabao Cup, uh, two legs there, so you know, um, obviously it'd be a weakish sort of side in that, but you know, we'll see what we can do with that. Um, so hope we get a win there. Then we have Man City at home in the league, so the reverse fixture is what happens in January. Once you play your games in December, it's then reverse, and then January you play them again, blah blah blah. So yeah, you know, January will be up against Man City again, not gonna be easy. And then we have our replay with Oxford United, uh, which hopefully will win that. And that'll be at home this time. And then we have Brian away. So they should be the four games at least in this video. Um, if not five, which we did do in the last video. So, you know, I thought why not do five, even though it didn't end up great. Um, but yeah, so just a lot to improve. Hopefully we can. You know, whether we buy anyone in this, obviously, January uh, transfer window, I don't know. Um, I'll obviously let you guys know during that if we do. Um, but if we don't, we don't. Simple as that. You know, we don't have much money to spend. But if we can make some money, maybe, or... Whatever, if we can get someone free, you know, that's decent, we'll get them. But, you know, if not, I'm happy with the squad I have, to be honest. Um, just need to perform with them, simple as that. So, yeah, on to our next game. Like I said, we've got Everton at home in the cup. Hopefully we get a good first leg against them, but we'll see what we can do. So, yeah, Everton at home. <sighs> okay. Okay, one now. Uh, I tried pressing the button. I. I mean, I'm actually speechless. I, I generally am speechless. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do. It's. I just have to accept it. Accept every result now. I don't give a shit. I'd, I'd actually rather leave MK Dons, I think, now. I mean, there's nothing I can do. You can't, even a pro, I say it all the time, but a pro can't deal with that. It's always near post. Why? Why? Oh, come on. Yes! I thought I'd done too much there. Where the keyboard, I, I didn't even do anything. Literally, my player just somehow had a little bit more of a burst. Than what I actually wanted. I didn't do anything. I didn't double tap anything or whatever. I was just holding RT down. And for some reason, my player just went a bit more quicker. Like quicker than what it should be doing. Like right here. That touch. That touch there. You see that touch? Lucky I got the goal, but Jesus. Whether we can come back properly, I don't know, but I just got to try, I guess. Go on, North. I'm not sure where that ball was first going. But it comes back to me, a bit of luck there, and North makes it 2-2. Like, where was that header going? Come on, people got to be honest with me. That header, where was that going? The first one. You know, obviously I've scored in the end, but look, watch. Where, why is that going so wide? I've aimed right at the goal, literally. Okay, it is a 2 all draw. We come back from 2-0 down. To get a draw is better than nothing, obviously. You know, I'll, I'll be happy with that, I guess. But still, quite pissed off to be honest. So um, I, I don't know how to stop goals. <laughs> Being honest, like that's a bit of a weird burst out of laughter. But 
um, sarcastic at the end, but true for it at the same time. It, it, there's literally nothing I can do, nothing more. And you know, anyone can say change your formation, do this, do that. I've done that so many fucking times. There's no point. Literally, formation is completely fine. Players, you know, yes, I could improve my squad a bit more, you know, and stuff. But obviously, I ain't got the funds to do that. So you have to try what you got. But my team's fine. But it's the goals, the type of goals I'm conceding that are just pathetic in the game. Literally, that just shouldn't be happening. But I don't know. It's a draw. Man City next. I, I really don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so on to our next game. We have, like I said, at the end of the last game, I did mention that we have Manchester City in the next game, who sit top. It's not going to be easy. If we can get three points from this, it would be massive. But it's ain't going to be easy at all. Um, no game is, obviously, but yeah. Um, just disappointed with the game. Last game against Evan, 2 0 down, you know, and then come back, obviously, came back fighting, which is good. But we need to do more than that. But Man City. I don't expect anything, I really don't, so we'll see what we can do, so let's go for it. Go on, that's it. We're in already. Eklin Camp, yes! We take an early lead. Two minutes gone, and Eklin Camp scores and puts us 1-0 up with his first, I think, Premier League goal of the season. And we go 1-0 up, honestly. Honestly, great start. And that ball over, to be honest, was one of the first balls like that I've done since FIFA 20. I'm not even kidding. Like, those balls are really hard to do on this. I don't know why. For some reason, it's either you tap it and it just goes miles away. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that was just inch perfect. And the Ekin done well to get it down and then just drill it in. There you go. Finally, some good news. For now, anyways, obviously. Oh, what the f... I, I get it. It's Man City. I get it. I get it. It's not a goal. What happened there? I see what this is. What this is why I'm moaning. This is why I'm having my point. Why would I do that? Look, watch. Why would I do that? Why? I've cleared it out. I've pressed the button to clear it out. And it's done that. This is why the game's broke. This is why it's broke. This is why I say it is broke. One one. I, I don't know what I have to say on it. Go on, Adiemi, go on. It's a great run. It is 2-1. Come on. Should be 2-0, to be honest. Space open up for me. I've taken advantage of that. So well deserved. Come on, Dons. Come on. Look at that. Why is there space open up for me? I don't mind, of course. Because it's now 3-1. I really don't mind. I don't care. I've scored loads of goals against Man City. I don't give a shit. Literally, I promise you, I've not even changed difficulty or anything. And we are literally get into that space, down that right side especially. 3-1. Come on. Oh, come on. 3-2. There's not much I can do about it. I'm literally, I'm defending so well. Like, 100%. Better than pro. <laughs> Better than a pro, honestly. I'm literally tight with my men, but... Obviously, off the ball, I can't do it. Like, there's nothing you can do off the ball. But it shouldn't be, shouldn't be letting that go through. Shouldn't be letting that at all go through. 3 2. Oh, you got through me there. Oh, God's sake. I'm trying. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Come on. Stay calm. 4-2, oh my god, how that ball went through, being honest, I don't know, but it's 4-2, it is what we deserve, it's, this is really hard, really hard, they're putting a lot of pressure on me, as Man City would do, but Jesus, 4-2, and we, yeah, we do deserve it, ah, uh, no, I'm trying man, I don't know how he got past that, a little, a little dink, man. I tried staying with him. I, just, I don't know what happened. Really done. Okay, it is a victory. Four three. Wow. That third goal, they didn't deserve that third one. Definitely, at least. Yeah. It was obviously, got past me, past me. It looks so easy, but you're trying to stay with them. You know, it's either I hold A for the player to just stand still or whatever, 
or actually manually control the player and I just manually controlled him and I just thought you know what I'll, I'll be fine and just somehow got past me so he didn't just slot it in there's nothing I can do about it nothing physically I can um, but yeah 4-3 to 3 points we beat um, the leading team which is a bit of revenge but it's a massive it's a 3 points for us massive so happy with that get in there ok so on to our next game uh, so you know 2 or draw of Everton a bit disappointing um, but you know, we came back from it, which was good. Then we beat Man City 4 3, which was very solid. We you know, went really well, actually. We, you know, we've done better than what we expected, obviously, way more better than what we did in the last one against them, the last meeting that we had with them. Um, but yeah, you know, so um, hopefully we can uh, win this game against Oxford United. It's a repeat, um, it's a replay against Oxford. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's get this one out of the way. Um, it's a shame we have to play a replay, but hey. Let's do this. Let's get that that win, hopefully, anyways. Okay, so before we get into our next game, of course, like I said, it's against Oxford. Uh, you know, we were actually just talking about that, of course. Uh, we've actually just bought a new centre-back. Now, we do need new centre-backs. Um, improved centre-back players that will seem, you know, seem really decent. Um, this guy seems all right. I um, can't remember what club I just bought him from. I'll check, I'll check in a bit. Uh, but I just want to show you the stats here. You know, not too bad. He's a six foot four. He's so quite a tallish defender, to be fair. Um, at 21 years old, uh, he only can play centre back, so that's fine. Uh, Northern Ireland international, um, which is a different nationality. I don't usually sign nationalities, um, those sort of nationalities. Not that I aim to not sign them, but yeah. Um, high defensive work rate, which is obviously what you want to look for in a centre back. And then not too bad st stats, really. 90 strength as well, so that's really good. So a strong centre back. 87 sprint speed, so he's quite quick. Only 75 acceleration, but it's still decent for a centre back. Um, his stamina is only 70, but hopefully he can improve that. Um, and then going on to his uh, technical, not great ball control as such, but could improve. Um, defensive awareness is 73, which ain't exactly the worst. And his slide tackle is 72, and stand tackle is 74. So not actually too bad for a 21 year old. Um, just bought him for 7.3 million pounds. So a lot of money in some ways, but I think he can improve our defensive uh, woes. So he can help out anyway so you know I wanted to bring him in so yeah it's just a bit of uh, transfer news for you anyways um, I mean if we go to the transfer bit and obviously transfer history and then he will be right here so Cass Upen I don't actually know who that is or where that's from to be fair um, but yeah bought him from them for 7.3 million uh, he's on a 24,000 pound a week contract and yeah, just hopefully he can turn out to be a good player. But you know, uh, might actually play him actually in this game against uh, Oxford. So yeah, like I said, seems like a good player. So just want to let you guys know on that bit of business. So uh, yeah, on to the next game against Oxford. Good ball. It is actually a good ball. It's a very decent ball. It's a decent goal. It's a decent start as well. Nathan Goddard gets us off and going against Oxford. I want a good performance in this game. And uh, you know, I feel good to be honest, but you know, again, you never know what's going to happen. Obviously, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> um, but it's a great ball from Papagoy, the CDM into Goddard, who then puts it nicely in the corner to get us off and going. Come on, Goddard! Oh, two 0 It is a literally great start in the first 13 minutes, and Goddard scores from that header uh, from the corner. Borges have a great delivery in the box, and it's a great, honestly, great first. You know, 15 minutes of the game, and uh, Goddard makes it 2-0 of his second goal. Oh, what a ball for Goddard, for Hattrick. I wanted to actually hit it first time. Uh, as soon as the ball came down perfectly in front of me, I wanted to hit it first time. But it took a touch and then smashed it, but it's gone in. 3-0, a Hattrick for Goddard. What a game, good game so far. Nice delivery from him again, it is 4-0. It is Nathan Goddard with his fourth goal. And Borges, I think he's got three assists. I think, what a delivery in again. Great ball in. And honestly, running away with this. Go on, Goddard, go on. Go on. Oh, it's 5 0. Five goals from Nathan Goddard. Honestly, what a game. It's Oxford United, obviously. We should be doing this anyways. You know, should have done this in the first leg at home. Um. But yeah, you know, <laughs> five nil, game over. Honestly, game over. Oh no way! 
I really, really, really am absolutely disgusted with this game. I hate to say it. I can't help it. I can't help it. You know, I've won the game, but I really was hoping for a clean sheet. You know, I don't think people understand how desperate I am for a clean sheet. And it's my fault, obviously, but no, I'm not I'm not actually going to put it fully in my fault. It's my new defender as well. I thought they'd done better with that. But I, I don't know. I'm disgusted with this game. I really am. I, I don't know why I'm blaming on the game. I just I can't help it. Like, it can't be just my fault all the time. Like, seriously. Like, okay. It's a win. Like, again, take nothing away from it. You know, it's a win at the end of the day. But it's, it's very frustrating when you work hard all game. And they get that in the last minute. You know, it's the only way you can pull it you know, into is pathetic. It is pathetic. It really is. I'm sorry, but it just is. Like, whether it technically is my fault, I can't put it all on my, my, on my shoulder. I can't do that. I just can't. It's just a goal, it's just one goal, but it just does bug me when you do everything you can defending and then they get that. Um, all I can say is we're through. Man, I, I don't know, I just, I'm just taking this heart probably, but it's just annoying. It's just, I think lately, because I've been conceded so many times, I deserve a clean sheet. I deserve it, at least against Oxford, for Christ's sake. But, other than that, great performance. Five bomb, next round. Okay, so some traps for the news before we go into our next game. Uh, we've sold Benjamin Babati uh, for £3.8 million, pounds, so we've been allocated £3 million of it uh, to a transfer budget. Uh, we haven't got a lot of money spent, but that £3 million helps towards something, whatever. Um, but Babati you know, wasn't getting many games, so I thought I'd let him go uh, on a permanent. Um, could have let him go on loan, I guess. I could have, but um, need to give him a, a, a new contract anyways. His contract was running out soon. Um, but yeah, so is what it is. I'm not really going to cry about it, but um, again, whether we upgrade the squad with a new right mid, I don't know. Uh, squad looking fine. It is looking fine. Um, we was actually going to get a new right mid anyways, but um, we didn't go for him. It was just some free agent that came up. Um, but yeah, Donnelly, yeah, it played, he played in that game against uh, Oxford. He was alright, to be fair. Um, but yeah, right mid-wise, so if we go down to our right mid, there's not a lot, you know, well we've got Cavadini, just a youngster, he's not really played, I don't really like him, I'm trying to get rid of him actually, um, and then right wings, you know, we've got three of them, so I'm not desperate, but if I can find someone that can replace, I think, yeah, I'll have him, fine, but, um, but yeah, so, just wanted to let you guys know with that, so Babati has gone, um, obviously we're on our next game now, and the last game of this video, we have none other than Brighton um, away, so, Big three points this this game. Uh, we've done well last time and got the three points, um, but hopefully we can do well in this one to move on to 36 points. So we're at the moment eighth as well, which isn't too bad uh, in 22 games. Obviously we've got the three points against Man City in the last game, which was massive. Those three points would be huge uh, towards the end of the season. Um, so really happy to get them. If we win this, it'll be even more bigger as well. So uh, just hope we can get a clean sheet. Just <laughs> that's the thing. We just keep leaking goals, but whether we can, I don't know. So. Um, but like I said, uh, we made Man City suffer their third defeat since that was good. Um, but yeah, on to hopefully bigger and better things for us. So hopefully we can beat Brian and continue that push uh, to survive in the Premier League, of course, and just, just get as high as we can. So let's do it and uh, let's get a three points. Come on. We move on. I, I don't know what to say to it. That's a bad goal. Really bad. I don't know anymore. I just don't know. I'm just getting, I'm, like, it's very depressing. I, I just don't know what to do. Like, it's, it's, it seems like such a simple goal, but it's not. I've tried attacking. You can clearly see and you can clearly hear me going like that. Clicking the button and it's not letting me tackle him. You know, this is disgraceful game and it really is. Like, 
We beat him, as far as I remember, we beat him comfortably last time. Just not enough, is it, really? 3 1. Brilliant. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting this game. Disgusting. You can literally see it in my eyes now. I've literally, I think, at the end of the season, I think I'm going to move. I'm going to leave. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. Because I can't, I can't anymore. I need to be at a bigger club. Because it's, it's not working. It's only the first season, but I can't help but say it. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't do well. Like, as far as I remember, I, I need to check that. But as far as I remember, I dominated Brighton last time. Dominated. But for some reason, I go and lose 3-1 today. I couldn't do anything. Nothing. But yeah, 3-1. You can't, the thing is, they're 20th. You know, and I, I, I literally, I, I technically got outplayed in that game. It's only their 12th goals. 12th, it's, uh, those three goals only reached the now 12 goals they scored this season. It just shows you how bad the game is. It's not me. It's not me all the time. I'm sorry, but it's not. I can't admit it. I can't, I cannot come to terms and say it's me. It's all me. It's not. So, you know, we stayed 10th. It's our 10th defeat this season. 55 goals. It's just... I don't know. I, I just don't know anymore. If we won, that would be eighth still sitting there nicely. But and we should be winning it. But I just don't know what to say anymore. I'm trying so hard. I promise you guys, I'm trying. But I think at the end of the season, I'm, I'm going to get a new challenge. I think I'm going to try. Um, you know what? Let's just check what the score was against Brighton in the last game. So yeah, in the last game, we won two 0 against them. We beat him two 0 comfortably. I actually remember actually it was actually a really comfortable game. The passing was brilliant. Everything, everything was really comfortable. Um, but yeah, that's, then we go lose three one. It is. It makes absolutely no sense. What makes it even more worse is we have Liverpool next. Are we going to get a win? That I don't know. We beat them last time. Obviously, you could say just, but it's not going to be easy at Anfield at all. No. Um, but then we've got Northampton in the cup. We've got them in the next round of the FA Cup, so that'll be interesting. Um, and then we've got another cup game with obviously Everton in the second leg, and then Bournemouth at home uh, in the league. So yeah. Um, We'll see what we can do. But anyways, that is the end of that video. Hope you guys, of course, enjoyed. As always, um, leave a like, of course, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video about MK Don's FIFA 21 journey. Take care and peace.